Hi, I'm Maya Petridis, as you guys know, and these are a couple of skills that I improved on this semester while being an MPX. Um, I feel that these skills are skills that I could really have learned in a standing learning environment, so I'm really thankful for what the teachers have done for me. One of the first things I learned about was time management. I was always kind of one of those students that I would finish the work last minute. I it was a very stressful process of doing the work. Um, I wouldn't span the work over appropriate time, but now I do span the work over appropriate time. It's a more enjoyable process for me to do. So in the beginning of the year, we had progress checks with Ms. Calibro, and we had steps to follow on Edline, and they weren't vet. They were very to the point, what we're supposed to do, and when, when to get it done by. Um, and here's an example of that. You guys all know about that. But now, we are kind of just assigned it and doing it. So here, we had to make a poster about cells for Mr. Kineko, and it was assigned on Friday, due on Monday, and it was basically very to the point and forward, okay, do it, look up cells, and give me a poster about it. There were no progress checks, there were no steps. We just kind of did it. I mean, sure, we had steps for the POL, but she didn't do progress checks every two seconds like she used to. Um, real world skills. Now that's something that you really don't learn in a standard learning environment. Um, now I know about my community's trash. I know about a community across the world, which is Congo, and I know about how growing local is better. I was community involved before, but not as much as I am right now. By going to Home Depot, we learned how to handle money when on a budget. We learned how to talk to adults respectfully and things like that that will come handy in our day-to-day -day life. And here's the artifact for that, my year-long project group. Um, in this picture, we are on our H-Power field trip. This is actually a recycling plant next to H-Power. And we learned about rec recycling efforts being made in Hawaii, which is our own community. Um, one of the things that I learned about was a community across the world in Africa, and I, this is my pen pal question, I asked, <coughs> I had a pen pal, and I asked her a question, and I wanted to know why they would put women lawyers if men didn't really respect women, and she explained that to me, and I thought that was really cool about me applying skills and learning at the same time about a community across the world. Okay, my technology skills are greatly improved. One of my first blog reflections at the beginning of the year was about being introduced to technology. Um, now I can make an iMovie, which I could not do before, or Google search and make infographics of the iPad. Before, maybe a year ago, the most techy thing I had was a flip phone. I only have one computer in my house. I never really used technology in school. I went to New Valley, we had like, big computers, so it was really intimidating coming here, but I definitely have improved on being able to do that things. So here we have one of my first infographics, and you can notice how it didn't really get the concept of it. Like when it in, in a correct infographic, there's supposed to be big words that mean big things, and the more important things need to be bigger, and I didn't really cite things properly, and it just wasn't really well done, and this took me around two weeks to finish. And next I'm going to show you an infographic that took me about 30 minutes to do with help of a partner, yes. But you can just tell how much easier it is to present, how much bigger everything is, how I get the concept now of how to make an infographic and how to do those kind of things. Um, so the enemies were made with the same app, same everything. responsibility for my actions. I never took responsibility for anything at the beginning of the year. You could ask Mr. Koneko. I blamed him for everything. I would say, you didn't tell me that it was due then. I'd like to blame my peers. Like, you didn't do your part of the share. You didn't do this. Um, that, I was that kind of a learner. And I needed to learn that in Mr. Koneko's class, especially, owning up to your mistakes is a very big part of 
succeeding. Um, most of the time in my year-long project group, me along with Tiffany are in charge of making the scale drawings and the model drawings. And that's really important because one slip up can mess up the entire project, um, which has happened before many times. Um, recently, we were having to make a scale drawing for a hydroponic system, and we didn't finish it in time, and the leg drawings were off, and we said that they were a certain amount of feet, and they were supposed to be another amount of feet, and our builders put them onto our system, and it was wrong, and nothing was fitting into it, so we didn't have enough lumber to redo it, and we had to problem solve and fix that, and it was all my fault because I wasn't doing it properly. And this isn't having to do with hydroponics, this is my workman table, but it's just one of like the things that I was in charge of doing. This is a model um, for my workman table. And in Miss Calibro's class, I have not done my annotations before, and I needed to learn to say, okay, it was my fault, I didn't check headline, I didn't do this, and that's my fault. Um, I'm not the kind of the person anymore that will just do my homework right before they go into a Socratic circle and not know what I'm talking about. I will just own up to it and tell her, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Okay, this is my most biggest skill that I am proud of, and it's trusting my peers. In my old school, I hated getting peer assessed. Like, it was my worst nightmare. I, in the beginning of the year coming here, when she was like, Oh, we're gonna peer assess everything. I was like, no, I did not want that. I was not a team player. I didn't like working with other people. I hated group projects. Um, but now I'm learning that your peers, a lot of times, are your targeted audience. So what would be a better person to assess your work than them? And a lot of times they're going through the same struggles as you. So they can help you and say, oh, well, this happened to me too, and I did this, and that. I needed to learn that, I needed to accept that. Um, so during Socratic circles, you guys all know we are constantly being judged on today's meet. Everyone is looking at us, everyone is listening to us. Uh, a lot of times we'll have it like up on this board here, and it'll be saying like, at Maya, speak more, say it's this, and it has made me a better learner by having them say things back to me. Um, possibly being judged by them. Here we have me and Kaya chopping up an onion. She's in my year-long project group. At KCC, it was really important that all of us learn the skills needed so that when we are at the final stage for hydroponics and cooking, we can all properly do the work and we can assign it evenly. And I had to learn that and let Kaya do the work and let everyone do the work. Um, having to work as a group was really important in my Athos, Athens and Melos debate because um, a lot of times I wouldn't be able to make big decisions. We would sit in groups of four and then we'd have to send someone in and yes, you could call timeouts, but a lot of times you had to make quick decisions right then and there. I had to know, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to be in charge right now. I'm going to have to let someone else do that. And so... This was my group, and this was us making our decisions, and this was one of the big projects that helped me realize, okay, it's okay to trust your peers, it's okay, they're, they're not gonna mess up, it's fine. Uh, what can I improve on? Um, I definitely improve on speaking to my teachers more respectfully, especially Mr. Koneko. Um, I need to realize that I don't need to be in charge all the time. Uh, I need to not stress over the simple things, which, my group has told me many, many times. I need to, I think that would make the process of doing the work much more smoother and fun for me. And communication with my year-long project is a really big thing. We often lose communication, which is partly my fault, and we don't get the work done on time or something like that. So I hope that we can work on that in the coming semester. So yeah, thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for teaching me. Any questions for Maya? Maya, I have a question for you. What yes. was the most challenging part of creating this presentation? Creating this presentation? Yeah, so it, I mean, it could be like the technology hour, it could be just taking out you know, certain skills. Um, what was the most biggest challenge for you? Yeah. 
getting used to cousins is kind of hard, but that I kind of caught on kind of quick. It was definitely uh, the prep time. I wasn't, I needed, I think I needed to work on speaking or writing the speeches after a little bit. Thank you.